Okay, today I'm going to review part two of the Fire Dragon Ice Dragon collection. So I've used some of the Ice Dragon on my eyes. Just want to give a highlight real quick. I am missing the missing a few pieces in this box. They might have fallen out a second ago. But anyways, the fire side, absolutely loved everything on the fire side. The lippies were great, etc. The ice side had some trouble with. So kind of the opposite experience of the fire side. The purple in this little pan here that was supposed to go on the lid, I had to scrape it to get the product up and it still was patchy. The blue, however, went on really good. A lot of fallout, so you gotta be prepared there. I had the lip and I, I don't know where the lip just went. The lip was, oh my God, death warmed over. Great color for Halloween, not a great color for every day. And the blue I didn't use at all because, you know, can't use that every day. Could be a good Halloween color there also. I used the highlighter only on the inner corner and under my eye. I had tried the highlighter on the fire side and it just, the blue on my skin looked like death. So I did not use the blues there. I used the bronzer to just kind of darken up the crease a little bit to go with the crease color. This crease color is stunning. The eyebrow bone is stunning. Everything worked in this palette with the exception of that purple. Don't know what happened with the purple. I did not use the power pigments today or the the color pigments, but the color pigments from Wet n Wild are absolutely worth the purchase. So as far as the Fire Dragon Ice Dragon collection, it was kind of, you know, the colors were yin and yang and also the way that they performed were yin and yang. So just kind of really interesting there. I didn't have consistency in this collection. So I thought that was really interesting. Again, a lot of fallout. I had trouble blending and I did, you know, blend and try to smooth out, etc. And to me, even looking at it now, the eyeshadows look like my eyeshadows do at end of day versus beginning of day. So I'm not really expecting these eye, this eye look to last throughout the day great. Luckily, I've got some false eyelashes on so that maybe that'll hide some of... Yeah, maybe, maybe the false eyelashes will make it look better through the day. But I'm not expecting it the eye look to be great at the end of a work day because it's just not performing well getting out the door. Although I do like all the colors. It just, yeah, the blue ended up a little bit muddy. Um, so that was kind of a shock. But yeah, I, I would say this isn't exactly what I had hoped for. I was really hoping that the ice side would perform like the fire side and we just didn't see that. The lip, I went ahead and changed out. Like I mentioned, I just went ahead and put on a dose of colors that had kind of a coffee look to go with the transition shade to make it look a little bit more everyday uh, wearable. So I did change that up and I really don't have any highlighter on today. So just kind of more of a, a matte look. Anyways, I'd like to hear what you think about this. Um, you're going to see the tutorial or me trying to use it in just a second. I, I would really like to hear your thoughts, questions, comments below. All right, here we go. Today we're going to do the second part to the Fire Dragon Ice Dragon collection from Wet n Wild. And so we've already done the Fire Dragon. Now we're going to get into the Icy Blue. So yeah, I'm kind of excited about this. We're going to use the color for the eyebrow bone. All over, swept lightly all over the eye. That's going to be our canvas. Okay, for the, I'm going to go into above the crease for the transition using the transition color since I have a bit of a wider space right there. We're going to warm it up. I really like this transition color. I think it is so pretty. I am going to take the bronzer and use that in the crease. If I'm not mistaken. And I am using a wet and wild brush and that just adds a bit of warmth. All right, taking this purpley color for the eyelid. Doesn't look like it's coming off on the brush. 
Okay, that's not coming off on the brush. So I just kind of scraped it a little bit with my finger nail to get it to pull up some. Okay, that purple is not going on really at all, even though you can see I've scraped the pan. It's really patchy. It'd be a pretty color if it went on. All right, let's see how we do with this uh, crease color. Maybe we'll have slightly better luck with the crease color. It is beautiful. And that does look like it's coming off on the brush. So we should have a little bit better luck. Oh yeah, much better luck with this crease color. Okay, where the purple didn't go on at all, the crease color is like, hello! I'm gonna pick up more of this transition color and go over the edges here. All right, we are going to switch to the lips real quick. This is the cat suit and shall we stay color. Say cool tone, vampy. Oh Lord. Okay, that is a very vampy color. Not sure that's going to work for me today. Whew. I almost feel like the Dawn of the Dead. All right, I'm going to take this blacker from Marc Jacobs for our eyeliner. I'm not sure if I'm making this look worse. I'm going to take a little smudge kind of spongy applicator. And I've smudged that out. Next thing I want to do is go ahead and wipe off. I've got a lot of fallout. With that smudge applicator, I'm going to pick up the crease color. I'm going to take the Mega Glow highlighter. Just kind of pop that on the inner corner and slightly up underneath the brow. Okay, I'm gonna use some Makeup Geek eyelashes. These are in Charmer. Okay, so this completes the look, although I do not like the lip, and so we're gonna make some adjustments there, but all right, so this is what we finished with the fire eye side. Hmm, hmm. I like your comments below. Thank you so much for joining today using the ice side of the Fire and Ice collection from Wet n Wild. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, have a great one. Until next time.